Now I'm going to ask you to do something that you've probably never done before. I can preach on the first reading or I can preach on the gospel. The first reading, I'm going to have to explain some of the ancient history. The gospel, we heard Jesus on a very bad day. <laughs> you're, you're cursed, woe to you. So who, you can, and you can abstain if you want. Who wants the first reading? Raise your hand. Who wants the gospel? Raise your hand. Gospel wins. <laughs> I'll take that as a sign from the spirit. You never. <laughs> Why is Jesus so angry at these communities? Because he has performed miracles in their midst and they take it for granted. They have this attitude, what have you done for me lately? And so there's a total lack of gratitude, a total lack of saying these miracles, they're pointing me to something. Jesus isn't just a trickster. He's saying, I'm doing this so that you learn about it. That's why in the Gospel of John, they never call them miracles. They call them signs. What's a sign? You get to the stop sign. What do you do with your car? Stop it. Open the door, get out, and leave, right? <laughs> that sign doesn't say stop and go. It says stop. But we know enough to read beyond the sign that we have to do something else. Jesus is doing all these miracles so that people will see beyond. So that they'll realize that as good as God is, that's how good we have to try to be. Now, how many of us have seen miracles in our life? Some of us have seen some things that, you know, you wonder, was that a coincidence? Remember, there's no such thing as coincidence. Coincidence is God's way of acting anonymously. So a lot of those things that we saw that we sort of wondered, stop wondering. God's working in all of this. But we see miracles every day. Once again, raise your hands. Who woke up this morning? <laughs> Given the fact that the warranty has worn out on our bodies, that's a miracle, isn't it? When I walk out to get the newspaper in the morning, the mockingbird begins his song. And I don't know whether he's showing off or just saying good morning to me, but it's a miracle of beauty. The heat that we're suffering these days, can it teach us a lesson? Teach us. Well, at the very least, it's a lot hotter somewhere else. <laughs> but more than that, that God gives us warmth, God gives us cold times, it alternates, and it's in God's time. It's a question of looking at the miracles that are already occurring and being grateful for them. Gratitude. They did an experiment at shopping malls, strangers opening the doors for strangers, as many as 50 people would pass through before someone turned around and said, thank you. We easily take things for granted. We have three meals a day. I've been in places where people didn't have it. Or if they did have it, it might be things that you don't want to eat. A good platter of roasted caterpillars. Yummy. And the beef, woof, woof was really good. <laughs> we are so blessed in this country. Now, admittedly, we're going through a rough stretch right now. A lot of you have told me you don't even want to watch the evening news anymore. It is just so troubling. Can we thank God for the good things and then take it as a sign that we have to make our country better? And how do we make it be better? Prayer, example, Refusal to play the game of hate. We choose love. We have a shrine out there to St. Maximilian Kolbe, thrown in Auschwitz, asked by a fellow prisoner, shouldn't we hate the Nazis? His idea, his response, only love creates. And so we have to make a conscious choice in these months to be people of love and peace and generosity people who are grateful for everything they received, people who are like children. Do you ever see a child who sees something new for the first time, so filled with joy? 
I always think of a young three-year-old seeing her first butterfly, and it flies away, and she has to run to you to tell her, tell about it, that beautiful creature she, she saw. Wouldn't it be nice if throughout the day we saw those miracles? And wouldn't it be even nicer if we saw those miracles as a sign that it's time for us to share the love with others?